Hey everybody. The first thing I do when I uh, set up my PowerShell environment is uh, I want it always to be running as an administrator. And um, the reason for that is because you will want to be able to uh, uh, you know uh, edit uh, registry settings and uh, if you have a SharePoint farm you do more complex uh, tasks there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we'll come in here to the start menu, uh, go to all programs, accessories and we find our version of PowerShell which is right here I always use the ISE so um, instead of uh, clicking that just right click it and then go to uh, pin to start menu okay once that's done you'll see that you have a, uh, a uh, an, uh, menu selection here for the PowerShell ISE but the problem is is it's not running as an administrator so how to do that is you right click again go to properties uh, advanced run as administrator make sure that's checked click apply and OK alright so now this will run as administrator see here's I'm prompted to go ahead and pull it up if you look up here it says administrator Windows PowerShell now uh, I normally like to keep this on my taskbar since I use it all the time, I'll just go say pin to taskbar, and those settings, those administrator settings, are still in the uh, uh, shortcut there that's placed on the taskbar. And there you have it. Uh, that's how I do it. Talk to you later. Bye.